Hello and welcome back. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, and by a little bit different, I mean we are going to um, be looking at some mods. Um, now, if you know anything about Minecraft, if you've played Minecraft for a bit, you've probably heard about mods. And mods are basically just things you can download that add new stuff to the game, like new blocks, new biomes, new dimensions, lots and lots of different things. So, um, one of the most common websites to download Minecraft mods, mods in particular is from CurseForge. So today, I thought I would look in CurseForge and get me the, um, the most popular and the least popular mods and try them out. Now, um, actually, to tell the truth, to begin with, I was just going to find the least popular mod and then try that one out. But I found that the um, least popular mod looked rough, didn't actually have anything to download, and a lot of the other ones around that time, around the least popular mod, also weren't for the right version. So I decided to instead go for um, limit it to mods that were 1.12.2, but um, that still resulted in a lot of the least popular mods being very boring, so instead I just decided to pick the one that looks the most interesting from the last page. However, by chance, that mod happened to work in a way in which I thought that another mod would be good to complement it, and it was only after I'd already put them together that I realised the one I had put to complement it is also the um, most popular mod. So, um, and that's why the video is the most and the least popular. Now I'm um, enough spouting on, let's get into the video. So, um, the most popular mod of all time on um, CurseForge is da -da -da -da, the Just Enough Items mod. Now the Just Enough Item mods is an extremely handy mod. What it does is it brings up this thing here. Well, it brings it up when you open your, um, whatever it's called. It does it in Survival 2, it opens up your inventory. It comes up on the side here, the same when you're in your crafting table and all other things. And it shows you every single possible block and how to make it. For example, um, iron chest plate. It comes up with the recipe. Um, red rose, it comes up with all the recipes for it, um, bricks, it shows you that you smelt it, um, anvils, um, terracotta, TNT, sticky pistons, it shows you how to make all of them. And the best thing about it is that it works on other mods too, which means that it shows the recipe to make different unique blocks in every single mod that you download. So whether it's in vanilla or in modded Minecraft, the Just Enough Items mod is a really really good addition to your mod pack or to your game, because um, it just allows you to have all the recipes here and um, makes it super easy so you don't have to remember things, you don't have to look things up, it's all just in the game. So um, that's the most popular mod. And um, it's pretty easy to see why it is the most popular, because I mean, it's just super handy. It's a good addition to any mod pack. But the least popular mod is, um, well, I'll give you a show of what it does. The least popular mod is called the Some Useful Stuff About mod. And what it does, as you can probably tell already by the fact that I opened up an end portal frame recipe, is that it adds some recipes for items that can't normally be crafted. And what that means is that um, you can make items that you didn't, couldn't make before. So for example, an end portal frame uses end stone, diamonds, and end of hell, and you can do it like that. And you've got your own end portal frame. Now it does it for quite a few different items. For example, for um, saplings, it adds um, these certain type of leaves with sticks, for, I don't know, ferns, it adds 
that recipe. Now, and for obsidian, it adds netherite and water bucket. And even for, um, let's see, bedrock, it adds a recipe for that too. It adds recipes for eggs. By that I mean um, mob eggs. It adds some recipe for some of them. And just a whole lot of different recipes for things. Now, at the same time, you'll notice that there's still some things that don't have recipe. For example, the spawn eggs, there's only a couple of different recipes that have been put in. There's no recipes for potions, you, you still have to brew them. There's um, no recipe for most of the music discs. The only one that has a recipe is Stull, for some reason. There's no recipe for the dragon egg. There is a recipe for barriers, but no for command blocks. Or grass paths. There is a recipe for mycelium, the totem of iron dyings. But there's a recipes for a lot of things, but there's also a lot of recipes that there aren't included. So, um, so it is a good mod if it wasn't the fact that there's probably quite a few other mods that do the exact same thing but are more complete. This mod um, is, I think, about a year old and it has less than 50 downloads so yeah it's not very popular so um, unfortunately that means that most people didn't find much of a use for it and I don't blame them but still it is pretty well made I haven't encountered any bugs with it it would be really good if it was more complete but um that's about it I hope you enjoyed this video, I know it wasn't as exciting as some of the other ones, but um, thank you for watching anyway, and bye!